Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest unavailable at this moment, SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator, founder, and CEO of the show herself is also a fan of roller coasters and rides. Today is gonna to be a very, very special day. I am right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are gonna be doing something awesome. But before that, you know the drill. SpongeBob carnival ride, camera flip. The carnival is back in town. I'm gonna be first in line for everything. It's about to get a whole lot brighter rep back. Like I said, I am here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are gonna be going on something extremely special. I have been driving for like five hours. My butt hurts, my legs are ready to get moving. I skipped that part for you guys and we can get straight into the fun. But I did arrive here at Circus Circus just a little bit ago. And I didn't come by myself, Karina. Hi guys. <laughs> Karina also came with me. Mitchell was not able to come, unfortunately. Just timing didn't line up for his schedule. So thankfully, Karina's gonna be here to help us out. And she was also able to hang out with me on the ride here and, and on the way back too, hopefully. But we are gonna be going inside of what is called the Adventure Dome here at Circus Circus because they just released a brand new SpongeBob ride. You heard me right here, an official SpongeBob ride that is one of the first ever outside of the ones at the Nickelodeon Universe theme parks, and it is a SpongeBob dark ride. This is advanced darkness. Here's actually a little clip of when they previewed it at IAPA in Florida. So that's just a little taste of some of the animatronics of the Mr. Krabs one. I'm hoping there's gonna be more. All we got to see in that preview was just Mr. Krabs and the animatronic. But today is the grand opening of the entire ride, so we're gonna be able to see everything for the first time. We are here 40 minutes before it even opens. We could be some of the first people ever to ride this ride. So without any further ado, guys, we're gonna go ahead inside there right now. This ride ride cost them six million dollars to make here in Las Vegas. I don't know if it's gonna be worth six million dollars. I don't even know if it's worth the, the travel for necessarily everybody, but for me, the five hour drive was definitely worth it no matter what happens, because it's gonna be awesome just to see that Mr. Krabs animatronic alone. So the ride in itself, I can't wait to check out. Without any further ado, no more hold up, let's start heading in. Okay, so we're trying to find the Adventure Dome and it looks like it's that way. You know, there's the casino, so if you wanna have some real adult fun, but you know, that's just not really our style <laughs> so we're gonna be looking for the adventure dome let's look for it even though the lights do look very very pretty but we're gonna be walking on past that okay so we're getting to the top floor here we have the big top shop and over here i think that's just an expansion of the big top shop you're the same no actually that's a manga shop so maybe what we'll do is we'll look around here when we're done so you can see you have some naruto stuff over here some more anime stuff over here even some pokemon it looks pretty sweet so we'll probably have to come in here after Oh, look over there. They have the Hello Kitty collab with Naruto up there, the big size plushies. There's a lot of cool stuff, so we'll have to come in here and we'll take a look and see what we can find when we're done. So let's go ahead and head that way. So it looks like the sign now is telling us Adventure Dome is to the left. So let's continue onward. Oh my gosh, do you know who this is? Zoltar. <laughs> For any of you guys who grew up, you know, in the 90s, 2000s, you had to have gone somewhere with your family that had a Zoltar machine. Here he is right here. I, 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 I'm not going to do it. Do you have a dollar? I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't even have cash. I'm sorry, Zoltar. If you take debit. Oh my god, he actually takes debit. I'm still not doing it. <laughs> but that's still cool, Zoltar. I don't need my fortune told, though. No. You know my future, and it's got sponge in it. So here it is right here. So this is the adventure theme park. Let's go ahead and head in. It looks like it's going to be over here. So this is the exit. We got to go get our wristbands first. Do you see what I'm seeing? It's the SpongeBob VR bubble coaster. This is one of my dream machines to own in like 30 years when they come down in price to where I can actually get one. <laughs> These things are so cool. We might have to do that if we have time. But look at that. They got Plankton in the mech suit. Oh, I don't want to spoil the whole thing. That is really cool. So, uh, this must be like a separate arcade. They got bowling in there. But let's go ahead and enter in now to the actual Adventure Dome. Now please be the best of friends for all eternity. 
Ultra Crabs greets you in. You have the crazy carnival ride over there. You got the, all the arrows leading you to the entrance to the ride. And look at the ticket booth. Tell me that's not the cutest cash register you've ever seen in your life. And you have the bikini bottomite there ready to take your card. That is so cool. And then here is the big sign itself, the SpongeBob's Crazy Carnival Ride. And you can see we have, you know, uh, traditional media over here ready to capture it as well. <laughs> this is so cool. And you welcome to Sir Day Circus. How are you today? Woo! All right, sorry. The main man himself is coming through. There they are. Baby food. Yeah! So now that the press uh, release is kind of over, we're gonna just kind of wait until we are able to get on the ride here. We already have our card ready to go, and maybe we can get a picture with SpongeBob before we leave. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, so I got the high five from SpongeBob. Yeah. Dream come true. I got a high five from SpongeBob. <laughs> that is incredible. Let me take the camera over here so we can take a look. So we have the shell lights here. We have the Krusty Krab presents the ring toss right there. And it says, you can do it no problemo. Over here we have a little display that says SpongeBob's Crazy Carnival Ride. Oh my gosh, and he's doing the thing right here <laughs> by the Oops. <laughs> Squidward is doing the thing officially in the carnival ride. There we go. <laughs> we have Patrick here. It's a smash. Plate smash. Test your skills with bubble pop right here. I love that SpongeBob image. It's super cute. And then we have enter here. So we're waiting to get past this little sign. They have a display. And look at that up there. They have a little life preserver right there. It says, are you ready kids? Clowning around you two, Mr. Krabs needs to get these carnival games up and running pronto. Well, it's too bad we can't just use this stuff. That is really beautiful. Patrick, your genius is showing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know, I mean, we can just use these Krabby Patty ingredients for the games instead. Yeah, smart. Now let's get this stuff unpacked. Okay, so essentially what's happening is, is Mr. Krabs, I believe, is trying to do a carnival, but they don't have the right supplies. Oh, it looks like Plankton's going to be involved at the end there. So they're going to be using the Krusty Krab ingredients in order to actually make the actual carnival, you know, happen. bit blurry there you guys can see the ride card here a little better now that it's darker and that is amazing yeah they have a little bikini bottom right there to show you how to see so we'll probably update you guys on anything else we see right now we're just gonna wait in line and then once we get a little bit closer I'll update you okay so there's Spongebob's carnival ride right there and then over on the left you can see bubble bass saying no weenies allowed and it's to see the amazing Larry and his stupendous feats of strength. You gotta check, Karina. Are you taller than SpongeBob? <laughs> I think you're good. <laughs> okay, so we're getting on here. Let's do it. We're gonna put the lap band down. Whenever you're ready, pull down your restraint. So it looks like this is gonna be our scoring system. Oh, I think it's supposed to be a spatula. Kind of like a spatula handle. So we have the little laser here, guys. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to play here, guys, but honestly, I mostly just want to get the shot for you guys. Looks like you got the right idea. Wow, somebody went really good at missing those bubbles. Right. So you guys can see me shooting here. SpongeBob's over there. I'm mostly focusing guys on getting you guys shots. We have Madam Pearl here. And then you have some Pearl plushies over there. Oh my gosh, can we get these Pearl plushies? Oh my goodness, those are amazing. Okay, and you have Gary plushies over there too. Oh my gosh, I would love one of those Pearl or Gary plushies. I am really not doing good at the basketball toss. <laughs> oh, I hit Plankton! I hit Plankton again! There we go, I'm getting all my points on Plankton. Look at the Squidward animatronic. That's amazing. Reading the Krabby Chronicle. 
<laughs> okay, so the tomatoes were the basketball toss. Now we're over here to Madame Pearl's game, and it looks like it's a ring a dinghy. But next game, though, is gonna be look at the barrels, the signs, the shells. It is beautiful. <laughs> Are you doing a good job? Uh, your score? Uh, you're beating me! What the heck? You're winning! I need to catch up. I'm losing currently. So the goal is to hit Plankton to make it a little harder for him to, you know, ruin said plan. Oh my gosh, I need to catch up. Sorry guys, I'm focusing. I can't lose. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. So the burgers were the little skeeter shooting. You have the cotton candy machine here. There's so much to cover. It's just impossible to get everything. The mime! The mime is there! <laughs> the Gary's down there! Get Plankton! Get Plankton! You gotta get Plankton! <laughs> Not yours! <laughs> Let's get Gary in the back there. Can we get Gary? Ah, uh, I can't shoot that high. Okay, so we're just trying to get the rings on the coral here. Karina is in maximum focus mode here. <laughs> oh my gosh, there he is. There he is, the king himself. We have SpongeBob. Oh, you're right. You can smell the Krabby Patty. It smells like burgers in here. So feed Patrick. <laughs> All right, I'm getting these points over here. Okay, let's see if we can get the Patrick back there. Okay, so it's more points if we can get him up there. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's better than that, Grant. Once I get this Krabby Patty back to my lab, nothing will stop me from learning the sacred <laughs> So there's a different ride over here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, so we're trying to catch Plankton now. Oh my, it feels like we're on a car. That is crazy. We're in Bikini Bottom, baby! Let's go! The Patty Mobile! So we have to smash the machine. Smash this machine, Karina! Shoot your pickles! Wow. There's me, there's Karina. I, I even lost to Squidward, bro. <laughs> I even lost to Squidward. That was awesome. All right, so then we're heading back now. Let's do it. Okay, so we have made it in here now. So we have a gift shop, and you know, we, we got a lot of SpongeBob stuff. So our goal now is to look around, and it's, it's a beautiful. <gasps> look at that SpongeBob. Look at that SpongeBob. <laughs> He's so cute. Awesome. Okay, so we have some blankets. I have a lot of this stuff. I do have this. I have this. I have this. I have this. No, I'm not trying to be that guy, but we're looking for some new stuff here. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. The Gary, too, is so cute. We have the Gary. These are by Squishable Love. So we have the Gary, which is amazing. We also have some of the bendables here. We have the race set up here. But let's just take a shot of the whole store here. This is just crazy. So here we go. We have the candy right here. You guys know we have this on deck. But what I need to get is this. I've never seen this guy before. I don't know how I've missed him, but this guy has got to come home with us. So this is the Patrick to go along with that SpongeBob bank there. That's so cute. Oh yes, that is so cool. Yes, you have the sandy bag there. You have the pineapple lounge fly there too. That is, oh and look, open the door on the pineapple. Uh, that's so cute, right? <laughs> 
There's some sunglasses over here. There's official SpongeBob glasses. Get the SpongeBob glasses, Karina. Get them now. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a Squidward. I know. Who do we pick? Squidward, Gary, or, or SpongeBob? Who do we go with? I don't know either. I think we gotta get one of them, but who do we pick? There's Patrick too. There's a Patrick one. And then look at this. There's the imagination SpongeBob. Is this the clap ones? Yes, it's the you have to pull the plug at the bottom, but I think this is one of those. Oh, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to get. Because we need we kind of need this one. We need everything. We we need everything. Need everything. That's everything. that's the real fact here. <laughs> is that actually I need everything. I need everything in this building. So <laughs> that's the real issue. <laughs> it's what do we get? I know. I know it's killing me. Okay, so now our question is we're gonna get him and we're gonna get one of the SpongeBob squishables. But which one do we get? There's SpongeBob. I don't know either it's just stressing me out they're, they're $60 and this is already gonna be expensive too so within our budget we gotta be able to pick something that's gonna work so we have Spongebob here you guys in the comments tell me which one you would have picked so here's the Spongebob Patrick here's the Gary oh Gary is he's probably up there for my biggest choice okay so since we don't see Gary that much we're actually gonna go with Gary and so Gary it is. <laughs> Gary is who we're going home with. He is amazing. I think we made a good choice. Again, you guys let us know which of the characters would you have picked. So other stuff that they have here, they have, of course, Painty the Pirate. They have Bold and Brash, which at one point belongs in the trash. But this one, this one deserves to be on display. <laughs> so I think everything else we pretty much have for the most part. And I'm going to have to get the rest of these squishables over time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so saying hi to some viewers here we actually saw here at the ride. So a huge shout out to them. Yep. Wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you guys yep, so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, bye to them. <laughs> Okay, so now we have uh, Kisses by Fishes, where you can get your feet actually cleaned by fish. I mean, that's a good location to be next to the SpongeBob ride. <laughs> You'll be saying, my legs. <laughs> okay, guys, so right now I am waiting. Karina's looking at the kiosk here. who are currently on the SpongeBob VR machine. I'm thinking about doing like a separate little thing there, but it really just depends on, you know, how it goes. If it's something we can even fill, we're gonna try to figure that out. But Either way, that was incredible. That was amazing, guys. <laughs> Literally, like, what the heck? <laughs> what was your favorite game? When I was driving with Plankton, that was insane. <laughs> insane. <laughs> the whole thing was just hard to really even fathom. The whole thing just felt like you were really in Bikini Bottom. I'm excited to try out the VR experience, but I'm sure that's going to be kind of secondary to like a full ride experience. But if you guys happen to be in Vegas, I would definitely say go check it out. I mean, yeah, if you're a SpongeBob fan, like to the degree that we are, like I am, like you guys... I think it'd be worth it if it's not too far out for you. But if you just happen to be in the area, it's definitely something worth stopping by just to see. And everybody was so nice. We got to meet so many of the people that worked on the ride in the line. The viewer actually that we met today, her dad actually worked on the ride. So I'm sure she's super proud of him. So if you guys are seeing this video, you guys are amazing, super kind. Everybody that was working on the ride, we got to talk to and ask us how the experience was. Just wanted to make... Yeah, and just wanted to make sure we were having a good time and everything was, you know, was up to a standard. So definitely did an incredible job all the way around and we had an amazing time and it was worth the five hour drive here. Do you want to show a shirt? Oh yeah. I mean, they saw the shirt in a video. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> I don't yeah, get nothing they don't, they don't know about usually. <laughs> So we're heading out of here. It's time to say goodbye oh. to the SpongeBob world. I know, bye VR here. Bye crazy carnival. We gotta go back to the real world. <laughs> but that was a nice little escape. Oh yeah. That was, I'm drooling. It was, it was, that was awesome. And what's really cool is to go to the SpongeBob ride, you don't actually have to go to the Adventure Dome. So the SpongeBob ride is separate. So the Adventure Dome is in there, which of course is really cool if you wanna go on roller coasters and stuff like that. But if you're coming for this experience, Experience. I think it may have been $20, but if I compare that to the price for the Adventure Park, that's gonna be 60. So, you know, I was fully expecting for us to have to pay $60 each yeah. to actually get on the ride, where it ended up only being $40 altogether for both of us. And by the Zoltar too, by the Zoltar. <laughs> ended up being $40 total for both of us. And we got to get some awesome SpongeBob stuff. That was incredible too. So we'll be checking this stuff out when we get back to the cavern. And we'll also just do a little update on our experience all together and we'll uh, sign out of this whole video. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Again, we'll have the VR video over there on Patreon too. I was gonna make it its own separate
short video, um, but now we've already just recorded that. So after recording it, it was just really short and like, you know, it was hard to kind of really capture everything going on without having like an unlimited access. And of course this is Vegas, you know, so the prices are kind of high to even use the machine. So overall it ended up being kind of tough to actually do that. So we just did record what we could and that'll be over there. So it won't be end up being its own separate video just because there was no way to really show it in its full form with all the different maps that it had and whatnot. But that was awesome. The whole, everything was awesome. And then the, the freaking, the guy who ran Circus Circus actually came oh, through. Yeah. He was super sweet oh, and he, you. Yeah, and he actually paid for me and Karina here to actually use the VR because he saw us just like over there like geeking out about it. Yeah, <laughs> having so much fun that he actually paid for both me and Karina to then go on it again so we could experience it like not filming and stuff. So that was super nice of him and thank you so much. That was just really cool. So let's go ahead and head out of here. Like I said, I'll meet you guys at the car and then uh, probably back at the cavern. Okay, so welcome back to the cavern rep pack. We are here now. This is the next day I got home and I was so tired after for that drive that I needed just to knock out. But it was an amazing day too and I had so much energy and I was having so much fun. And like in the moment, you're just like, yeah, ooh, yeah, look at this, look at that, oh. <laughs> If you're a normal person, maybe a little less than that. But you don't feel how tired you are. And then when you're in the car, you're like, whoa, this seat and this uh, warm Nevada sun is pretty comfortable. <laughs> but I did make it home safe. And we have everything we picked up there. But let's go ahead and get into this. We'll start off with probably one of my favorite things and then go through all of it. But all I can just say, as far as the ride goes and the experience, 10 out of 10. It was so much fun. Like I said, we got to talk to so many different people that actually worked on the ride. They're all so sweet asking how our experience was and just trying to make sure that we had a good time. And, and the whole ride was almost Disneyland-like in the sense of how good the immersion was. Like there was not a miss B. Like all the signs, the rails, every little detail was really there to make it feel like Bikini Bottom. It did not feel like some Las Vegas like gimmick ride they're just kind of putting together just to use a SpongeBob brand. It feels like they really did go that extra mile to make it feel like a real SpongeBob experience. If I were to have one complaint, the gift shop. The gift shop was awesome. <laughs> of course, as somebody who does this and collects this stuff, I had a lot of fun in the gift shop. But the I would love, I would love to see them down the line add some kind of exclusive merchandise to the actual gift shop. Whether it just be, you know, some magnets, uh, a t-shirt, something that just says SpongeBob's Crazy Carnival Ride and that you can only pick up at the location. It could be a licensing thing, you know, like they're licensed to make the ride. They may not be licensed to make merchandise as well too. But if they could figure that out as somebody who does this, I would have picked up every item that had the official branding on it. But we did get some incredible stuff. So I'm just saying, Circus Circus, if you want to make a little bit more. I mean, I got this stuff because I just wanted to get something to kind of commemorate the experience and to bring back to add here in the cavern. But I would have probably gotten the exclusive stuff if I would have had some of that stuff available. But one thing, I don't know if it's exclusive. I don't know for sure. Maybe it's just early or maybe I just haven't seen it yet. And that is this Patrick right here. This thing is so sweet. So they had this one and I could see it from the distance of the line. You guys may have seen when I was zooming in on it. It's like, oh man, who knows what's gonna be in there? Cause I'd never seen this before. And I said it's to go in tandem with this one, but I don't really think that it is. I think that they just happen to have both because if you look at the size proportions, I mean, he's leaning, but I think this was a little bit bigger than this SpongeBob, but they are both made by Mammogram monogram not not the thing you use to see babies inside people's stomach i think <laughs> but i do think it is an incredible piece i th i think like we can show some art right here on screen they used it in a lot of different products as of recently i want to say it almost might even be on the season eight dvd so i wouldn't be surprised if we see a spongebob in this same form factor but you guys have seen some close-up shots of it it's an amazing detailed piece an awesome you know i like to call a piece that has great shelf presence you know there's so many little things you can collect and i love those little tiny figurines or mystery mini type items. They look great, but these are the kind of items that just catch your eye immediately when you look in your collection. And I love these type of items when it comes to the cavern because again, this is our display room and this is the stuff that you guys can see the most even from a distance, you know? Like you might not be able to see this little Susie right here, but you can see this Angelica. You can see this Reptar up here a little bit better than the smaller. It's a lot of stuff, but <laughs> these are the things that kind of stand out a little bit more. So we have the patch right there. He's got a little coin bank spot right here, but it's kind of 
of hidden actually. So if you're looking at it, you wouldn't immediately see the coin bank slot, which I, I really like, because I think they're starting to realize that most people aren't really using these for the coin bank aspect. Most people are getting these just for the figure itself. So I love this one right here. Probably my favorite item. Well, debatable, second favorite item. A favorite because of just how stunning it is visually, but cuteness wise, we might have ones a little cuter. Sorry, Patrick. So we got two more other items here. So next up here we have one, something I've been wanting them to make for so long. And again, I don't necessarily think this is exclusive. We could see this at five below. It could be even available now, but this is official SpongeBob jelly fishing glasses. It just says SpongeBob's glasses, but of course you guys know we see him pop on these sunglasses whenever he's going jelly fishing. Especially older episodes. I don't, you don't see him throw on these glasses as much now in the later seasons. But early seasons, you definitely saw him with his protective jelly fishing glasses. So these ones will be staying sealed. There was actually only four pairs of these. I grabbed one. Karina grabbed the one. And I was like, oh, well, what if I want to have one to like wear in the cavern? And I was thinking about going back to get another pair. But I was like, okay, you know, this is already going to be this much. This is going to be this much. So I was like, okay, maybe. But then I went back to go grab the last pair. There's one more left already. They're gone. There's one more pair left. And there's another person there in line. He was thinking about grabbing the glasses and then he put them back down. And then he was like telling his friend like, oh, did you see they have these glasses? And I, and I told him, I was like, are you gonna get those? Because if you're not gonna get them, I absolutely will. And I was like still thinking about it, but then he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get them. And then he, he grabbed them and I was like, okay. So I guess we're going with these ones. But nonetheless, I will be keeping these ones sealed just because, I don't know, I just think they're really cool on the card like that. But if, you know, maybe if they're publicly available and we can find them, I'll get another pair for hopefully a little bit cheaper actually as well. I mean, the price that I got them for, I, I'm not opening these. And then last but not least, we got the Squishable Gary. So, oh, my goodness. This is gotta be the cutest Gary plushie we have ever got in the history of Gary plushies. And the reason why, I mean, to be honest, as I was leaving, my hands were like, no, no, I need the SpongeBob one. I wanted the SpongeBob one so bad. But I think that as the SpongeBob one will be available and it's gonna be accessible for a long time. Whereas I feel like the Gary one, you just don't see Gary as much. Like when you get plushies of characters, you always kind of wanna aim for the characters that nobody else really is getting as much because those are the ones that become the hardest to find down the line as somebody who's done this for a long time. The ones that aren't the main characters tends to be the ones that are kind of for God in, or maybe they're printed less so therefore they become harder to get and we don't have a lot of Gary's here in the cavern I mean we have, we have actually have a lot of Gary's but not a lot of Gary plushies in the cavern so I wanted to get one character to represent the trip so I got Gary but I, again you guys can let me know who I should have gotten I will be probably down the line getting that Spongebob one too to go with it and you know maybe as time goes on I'll be able to get the Squidward one maybe the Patrick one the Patrick was probably my least favorite of the four just because I felt like his head was really pointy but just Gary, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is so cute. And I can't wait. Put him over here with all the SpongeBob plushes. Amazing. So that was the three items. I mean, I would say the pricing on everything was... Whew. You know, the Patrick here was $40. I mean, I don't know what these retail for. I think these probably retail for like 50, so 60. So not too bad of a price. But the Patrick, I mean, the SpongeBob that was next to him, they go retail for like $20, $19.99. So I don't know if this is supposed to be comparable to that one because that would mean it's double in price. Or it could be because it's a little bigger, it was supposed to be like maybe $30 retail, so they're selling it for 40. But either way, when it comes to this kind of stuff, you're getting a souvenir, you're going to a gift shop at an attraction. You just can't expect the prices to be uh, as close to retail as they can get it, just because the fact that these souvenirs, that gift shop is what kind of keeps that ride there. And I'll support SpongeBob every day of the week, so I wanted to pick something up, you know, at the gift shop. And I don't mind paying that little bit extra that means like, you know, we're gonna have other rides and events for SpongeBob that can maybe happen down the line. Cause if you don't support it, as with anything that you'd love, if you don't support any of the stuff that you love, eventually it's just gonna fade away and you know, just kind of be something in the background. But the reason why the sponge is standing so strong over all these years is because of the fan base. So, you know, I wanted to pick up some stuff. And again, the pricing is what you would expect at a gift shop essentially. So again, experience 10 out of 10. If you guys like this video, let me know. I think it was a really fun video to get out there and see something we've never 
ever seen before. I definitely want to do some more stuff like this down the line. Huge shout out to everybody over on Patreon. This video was essentially done because of Patreon. It's a little special video. I was not paid to go to the event, although I wish I would have taken the offer. <laughs> I was not paid to go to the event. I was not given free tickets. I was not given uh, a budget to get anything. Everything that we got here today was thanks to the people over on Patreon supporting the show and making this stuff possible. And hopefully as the channel grows and everything else grows, we'll be able to do even more and more cool stuff down the line. But huge shout out to all of you guys for supporting the channel to make this possible. And as always, a special shout out to everybody over there. But on that note, you know the drill. Scan it! Okay, so for Gary, I put him right here. So you know these guys down here, we put a lot of our, our bigger size plushies and stuff like that on the edge of the shelves. And we have a couple guys over here that are green labels, so we keep that over here. And these are the vibrational, I guess I can call them that, vibrational plushies. We saw one there that I didn't get because, you know, like I said, the prices were a little high, so I wanted to get something that was a little different because that one I know is accessible other places. So it's not a huge priority right now, but eventually we'll probably go here instead. So to separate them because they're different lines i put the gary over here just kind of hanging out with the sponges in between the two different era shelves here so i think gary looks so freaking cute i love him so one of my favorite pickups today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did smack the like button subscribe if you're new here if you guys want to check out our patreon it's only two dollars to sign up and when you sign up you get extended versions of every single video that we upload here on youtube including some extra content like for today where we have the VR ride is an extended version of the video. We have a Q&A that may be up already or is coming out very soon with me and Mitchell answering your questions. And again, all those extended videos are 100% ad free. It's the ultimate way to watch comfort cartoons. So if you haven't checked that out, that link will be down below. And if you guys want to see us live, I am live every single Friday on whatnot. And we're also going to be having very, very soon a $1 start only stream, which means every single item is going to be going up for $1. So if you guys uh, want to be a part of that, and also we do giveaways every single stream too. So if you want to be a part of those things, then uh, go check me out on whatnot. You get 15 bucks for free signing up. As you guys know, I've been doing this for over a year now. I wouldn't be pushing you guys that direction if it was like a, a sus website. It's, it's really secure. It's so much fun and I would love for you guys to come uh, be a part of it. So check that out. That again will be at the top of the description. I'll see you guys over here in this video right here that I know you're going to love. And as always, Rep Pack, thank you. Thank you so much for everything. This is an awesome day. And when always when I get to do something really cool, it's even more cool when I get to do it with you beautiful people. So thank you again. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios and bloop.